So today's talk is all about how discipline leads to freedom. And so if you look at the word discipline, you can see that in the word is the word disciple. And disciple is basically someone who is devoted to something higher, perhaps something that uh, helps expand your consciousness, helps you to um, become a better or bigger person. And so with discipline, and discipline is one of those words that not everybody is really comfortable with. It can be something that makes you sort of feel contracted inside. I have to be disciplined with something. It's more of a have to than a get to. Um, but with this, this is, this is a different relationship with the word discipline because you're looking at it from a place of devotion. And when you get devoted to something, you bring into your heart this expanded state of joy that you're doing something that you love. And so when you're disciplined in life, you actually open up your heart and you bring about this higher state expanded consciousness where you're moving forward towards what you want in life instead of sort of just satisfying the instant gratification of the ego. Because the ego, uh, it wants what it wants when it wants it. It doesn't want to have to wait. You know, it wants that fast food or that cigarette or that alcohol, that wine, whatever it is that is your one thing, that your fix is that uh, just satisfies you in the moment and then just maybe calms your nerves, that's the ego that's just desiring, 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 just wants what it wants, gets it, and then it's happy for a moment. And that brief moment is the, the small amount of joy that you get in life when you're not disciplined. So what I'm speaking about here today is about how discipline leads to an expanded state of freedom where when you are um, letting yourself or your soul or your higher self be in charge, then you're not always just satisfying what the ego wants in its instant gratification mode. So you're, you're going to a place where there is a state of um, just love uh, for this connection to your higher self. Okay, So there's a moment where your mind is going to be like, okay, do I want just what I want when I want it? Or can I just breathe and take a breath and just know that deep inside of me is this place where I can retreat and relax and be still and know myself to be connected to a higher source. And so from that place, you're going to move into a higher state of freedom, okay? Which is really going to bring about more empowerment in your life, more love in your life, more abundance in your finances, more health. Um, discipline always leads to a greater state of freedom. And now, of course, we can always, you know, the pendulum tends to swing in life, and so we can become overly disciplined and not have any fun. We can always be a workaholic and not enjoy life fully. So, so there is this point where we do need to just let go of the rigidness around discipline and move into this place where it is actually about devotion, about fulfilling your heart's desire as opposed to, say, your ego's desire. Okay, so it's a really fine line sometimes about figuring out, am I living from ego or am I living from my heart? Okay, am I living from instant gratification or more of a bigger state of perspective about what my life is really about? So just keep in mind that every moment is a moment where the, the ego mind can slip in there and just say, I don't care about anything, I'm just going to go for it and do whatever the hell I want and just, you know, be crazy. And that's all fine and dandy as long as you understand what the consequences are, what the payback is, what you're going to get out of it, and what the cost is as far as down the road or the next morning, how you're going to feel. And if you're aware of that, if you're conscious, then you're going to evolve. If you, if you go unconscious and you say, you know, it doesn't matter, I don't care, then that's what you're creating more of, of more of a, a not caring uh, result in your life. And you're not going to get the results that you want as far as your health, your money, your love, your abundance, whatever it is that you're after. So it's about being really, really conscious about each decision that you're making in each moment. Um, are you coming from a place of devoting yourself and your heart and your life to what you want? 
or are you just you know merely just following the old habits and um, just being caught in this old way where it's just you know comfortable maybe comfortably numb or just coming from a place of just being a velvet rut of just oh well I'm used to just sitting on the couch and watching TV every night that's what I do and uh, that can lead to a very undisciplined life and a lot of feelings of not being free okay and so when you don't have a life that's full of freedom um, basically you live in a prison and it's a prison in your mind, it's a prison in your emotions, it's a prison in your finances, your relationships, a prison in your health. Um, on every level, there uh, shows up a prison on some level. So you really, you really want to like take a look at where in your life could you use a little bit more discipline, uh, become more of a disciple of this higher self, uh, moving into a higher state of, of joy, uh, looking at what your heart really is after, uh, instead of just leading the, letting the ego run the show all the time. Because that's basically what it's doing. Um, so just take a look at that. You know, when the, when the ego is in control, when the ego is not in control, it's basically when you're living from a state of, um, you know, being um, just unconscious. Okay? So it's just, it really does boil down to just becoming more present, more conscious, more centered in each moment knowing am I coming from my heart or coming from this instant gratification place okay so so don't judge yourself don't don't let yourself go into guilt or shame or blame or any of that if you continually go down that road of being undisciplined and just going instant gratification all the time just just tell yourself okay what can I do to become a little bit more conscious next time about the outcome or the end result how am I going to feel in an hour from now after this or in the next day and just think about that like just just let yourself step a little bit into the future about how am I going to feel after I eat this food or say this one thing to my spouse or um, go buy this one thing how am I going to feel next week when I you know have to pay that back in the credit card or whatever you know just take a look at at the future result about how you're going to feel and that will help you to, to make decisions that are based more from a place of, um, that's going to create more freedom in your life than from this place that is just all about satisfying the ego's instant needs. Okay? Because you'll see that, you know, even if you satisfy the instant needs of the ego, 10 minutes later, an hour later, a day later, the ego wants something else. <laughs> Go figure. You know, it's always just wanting, 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 wanting. Um, that's all it does. It doesn't stop wanting. Okay? That's a lot of suffering to let yourself be succumbed to in your life by just living under this ego's um, guise. Because it's, it, it is a facade. It's not really who you truly are. You know, the ego is this false self that um, sort of taken over because you, you're buying into its story. You're letting it, l it live through you. But you don't have to. You can be the master of your mind by saying, hey, I'm conscious enough to choose whether I want to buy into the story of the ego or sit back and say, you know what, I really am going to think about what I really, really honestly want. And when you think about what you really want, you know, all the time, you know, when you're conscious all the time, there is, there is a state of peace that enters your life and enters your, your heart where you're just... You, you don't buy into the wants all the time. You actually, you go for what you want when it feels right, when it feels like it opens your heart instead of closes your heart. So that's really, that's really the ticket to really knowing it, how to make a decision in life is check your heart. Does it open your heart or does it shut it down and make it tighter, smaller, uh, harder in some way? Does it feel more contracted? Okay. And if, if what you're doing makes your heart sing and open for the next day, week, month, year, hey, tomorrow morning, if you know your heart's going to feel great tomorrow morning, then go for it. Okay? That's a, that's a good sign to know how to make decisions uh, about anything that you're maybe challenged with uh, in life. So, so, yeah, ultimately, you know, I would say keep disciplined, you know, 95% of the time if you can, you know, and let that, that 5% just be that, that time where you just let go of everything that has to do with staying on the narrow path of life and just be, you know what, I'm just going to explore alternative 
states and just let myself be free because um, if again if we're disciplined all the time and never having fun you know and, and discipline can be fun it can be very fun and, you know when you get into the devotion element but sometimes we we just continue staying on this narrow path so much that we need to have an out we need to have a break we need to have vacation we need to let go and uh, not be disciplined and uh, it's it's healthy it's actually really healthy for us to to um, experience uh, com a complete creative way of relating to life and relating to ourselves so ultimately that will lead to this expanded state of freedom where you really enjoy your life on a much deeper level than you ever thought was possible okay so uh, thank you so much for listening and uh, take care of yourself and uh, be well. Okay.